A member of President Obama's administration was in Rhode Island today learning more about Rhode Island's innovative approach to prevent drug overdoses. And it's a problem that's been plaguing the nation. And I would just do supporter Madeline Wright was there to learn more about the program. She joins us now with a story new at five. Mike and Shannon, officials are calling the overdose epidemic a public health crisis, and they say medication treat a medication assisted treatment is a solution. It's a combination of behavioral therapy and medication to treat substance abuse disorders. It's not common in prisons, but it is being offered at the ACI. These ACI inmates come from all different walks of life. But one thing they have in common, they're all recovering from a drug addiction. I've overdosed since 2010 at least 10 times, and um, I'm lucky to be alive. Helping them in their recovery is medication-assisted treatment, or MAT, which involves patients taking a drug that helps them wean themselves off of a more dangerous drug like heroin. Governor Gina Raimondo is expanding MAT in state prisons with $2 million set aside for the program in 2017. We know that if we provide good treatment for people who are incarcerated, that they are less likely to recidivate on the criminal justice system. They are much more uh, likely to stay engaged in treatment, and they are less likely to experience an overdose. The White House Director of National Drug Control Policy toured the women's facility in Cranston Tuesday to see how the program works. This is really important not only from a public health standpoint but also a public safety standpoint as well as an economic standpoint. Before, the ACI used to only offer MAT for inmates with sentences less than 60 days. And a lot of times I would come here and I would come here on, you know, medication assisted like Suboxone or Methadone and I had to be taken off of it and it was really hard. But with additional funding, inmates with longer sentences can now get the services. The governor is also working to make MAT more available outside of prisons. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.